Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from water resources. This is an environmental problem and it states an anaerobic digester has a volume of 30,000 gallons. The influence sludge flow rate is 4 million gallons per day, MGD. Influent flow contains TSS, total suspended solids of 1300 milligrams per liter. Suspended solids are 70% volatile. The volatile sil uh, solids, solids load, which is pounds VSS per cubic foot day, is most nearly. And there's some answers. So um, these environmental problems can be tricky, but the thing that we're looking for is the units. So we're told that we need to find volatile solids load. And here's the answer that we need to find it in. So let's look at what we got here. We got a volume of 30,000 gallons, which if you're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, there's a nice conversion to get this into cubic feet. So if I multiplied this by 0 0.13368, that gives me 40, 10.4 cubic feet. Okay, and we were told that suspended solids are 70% volatile. So if we take the total suspended solids, which was 1300 milligrams per liter, and times that by 70%, that gives us 910 milligrams per liter to work with. Okay. Um, so 70% of the suspended salts are volatile, so this should be our VSS. The volatile, okay, so the volatile solids. Now we need to think about what we've got here. So we've got 910 milligrams per liter, 910 milligrams per liter. If we multiplied that by the 4 MGD, that will give us how much we have per day and we'll try to get that into a unit that we can work with so that's four I'm gonna rewrite this to million gallons per day just for it to make sense and what does that equal that equals 3640 milligrams per liter times million gallons per day. Now in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual there's also a nice conversion to multiply this by to get it into pounds per day and that is found in the front cover sheet and it is the edition that I have let's see the edition that I have it's on the very far right column and let's see it has a conversion for million gallons per liter sorry milligrams per liter multiplied by this factor 8.3454 should give you pound mass per gallon so basically if we take 8.34 multiply it by this there is 8.34 pounds per million gallons in one liter per milligram or if I rewrote that it would be L over mg multiplied by that okay so this is kind of crazy units that you're dealing with with environmental problems and all we're trying to do is get it into something that the answer is in so you need to be careful of working these problems working the units so that we get it into something that is shown in the answer selection so if we look at all this um, we can cancel out the liters and we can cancel out the million gallons 
and the milligrams all we're left with is pounds per day so if we multiply that together I get 30357.6 pounds per day okay so we're still not there yet we're still not to this unit yet so we've got the pounds per day pounds per day pounds of volatile suspended solids per day okay and we're going to divide that by our cubic feet which was our volume divide that by 4010.4 cubic feet that gives us 7.57 pounds of VSS per cubic feet per day. So funky units but all you're doing is trying to play with these units to get it in uh, something that the answer selection is in. So pay attention to these environmental problems. I hope that helped you. Uh, it looks like this answer is 7.5. That's B. So I hope that helped you with this environmental problem. If you need more tips and tricks, head over to civilengineeringacademy.com. Thanks, bye.